It all started when I was invited to my ex-girlfriend Rose's house for dinner. After dinner I started to feel a little woozy and so Rose had me lay down on the couch. The next thing I know I'm waking up on a bench in a picnic pavilion at a park with a note in my now white-laced gloved hand and something stuck in mouth. I try to pull whatever it is in my mouth out but it seems to be stuck to my lips. After struggling with whatever it is for a while without being able to get it out I try to calm down. Then read the note. It says, Rory you totally humiliated me by making me wear this silly outfit to that Halloween costume party, then breaking up with me and leaving me at the party by myself, with no one I knew. So now it's your turn. You'll have to walk home dressed like I was that night like I did and like me you'll have no money credit cards or phone and I don't think you'll be asking anyone for a ride home, also so you don't try to take anything off. I have made sure everything will not come off. However I have left all the keys for the locks at your house so if you start walking now you should be home in an hour or two and be able to change. Looking myself over I see I have on the pink little girl's dress Rose had on at Halloween. The dress is a pink with lace trim, a high lace collar, long sleeves, and a white pinafore on over it and under it there is a large crinoline and net petticoat that holds the short skirt up and out. I see she also has put white tights with tiny pink and green flowers on them on my legs, my feet are in black high-heeled Mary Jane shoes with ankle straps around my ankles, and I see that the straps have locks though them locking them on my feet. I touch my head and feel that my long hair that I usually wear in a ponytail appears to have been curled in small tight curls. I stand up, lift up the skirt and see that under the tights Rose has added something to the outfit that I don't remember her having on. A pair of pink plastic panties with little animals printed all over them and I see that the waistband of the plastic panties have a chain though it, it's pulled tight and locked with a small lock and of course I can feel the very thick diaper that is under the plastic panties. I see that there is a little pink purse sitting next to me. On opening it, it contains my house keys, driver's license, a lipstick, a makeup compact, and a bottle of foundation, mascara, eyeshadow, eyeliner, and a small bottle of perfume. I open the compact and look in the mirror. Looking at my face I see that there is a pacifier in my mouth, glued to my lips I would assume because when I pull on it just hurt my lips and wouldn't come out, my face is made up with foundation, rouge, pink eyeshadow, black eyeliner and mascara, and looking at my hair I see that it looks like it has a million small curls in it. I then use the mirror to look over my shoulder, at the top of high collar dress. I see that the zipper of the dress is locked to two rings attached to a chain sewn into the neck of the dress, the chain goes around my neck on the inside of the lace collar of the dress meaning that there is no way to get the dress off without tearing it away from the chain. The long sleeves also have small chains sewn into the wrists that are also locked on. I can feel that there is also something around the waist of the dress probably another chain sewn into the waist of the dress. After looking around and I figure out where I am. I bite the bullet or should I say pacifier and start walking through the park and towards my home, I can't believe I'm doing this but what else can I do other than just sit here or try and tear everything off and go home naked. As I walk my legs are held apart more than usual by the bulk of diaper causing me to waddle a bit. I feel the petticoats brushing my legs and bouncing with every step I take, the tights are caressing my legs and I wonder if the dress is covering the plastic panties or not because of the shortness of the skirt and the puffiness of the petticoats holding the skirt up and out. I also find it strange walking in the heels with my feet at an angle, I hear the swish of the petticoats, the crinkle of the plastic panties, and the click of the heels to me the noise is deafening. As I walk along the path trying not to draw any unwanted attention I see a young woman jogging towards me. She stops looks at me and starts laughing, I can see tears in her eyes because she is laughing so hard. She then between gasps of laughter asks me if I've lost my dolly. Before jogging away. After the woman jogs away I try picking up my pace but between the heels and the bouncing of the skirt I'm scared to go too fast. 
As I near the main gate I drop the purse and bend to pick it up I see a woman walking in with a little girl who spots me bent over and says to her mom, look mommy that little girl is bigger than me. The woman turns toward me covers her mouth and gasps. She then covers the girl's eyes and walks away. But as they walk away I hear the little girl say, mommy is she wearing diapers? The woman turns and looks at me again and pulls the girl away faster. I try to speed my pace up and push the skirt down hoping that I'm covered and walk on. I am finally out of the park and am heading down the main street when I hear a car horn and a male voice yell out, hey little girl need a ride? I just ignore the person and keep walking. This happens several times during my journey, but I just keep walking. After about an hour I finally reach my neighborhood and feel a little bit of relief until I start to see people out cutting their grass, gardening, or just enjoying the morning, I feel every eye on me and see people pointing at me. Finally turn onto my street let out a sigh of relief. But as I do a car pulls up next to me and I hear a voice yelling, Hey Rory cute outfit. Then hey do you need your diaper changed? I recognize the voice as Rose's. I turn and she's hanging out of the passenger side window of my current girlfriend Donna's car and to make matters worse Donna is honking the horn. All the yelling and honking is now bringing out the neighbors to see what's going on and here I am, dressed like a little girl. I hurry my pace and finally make it to my house. Grab my keys out of the purse and unlock the door, just then I hear my neighbor Amy shout out, Hi, nice outfit. I just jump in the house, slam the door shut and plop down on my padded but leaning against the door. After a few minutes of sitting and resting my sore feet I finally regain some composure stand up and start looking for the keys that are supposed to be left for me. I start looking only to be interrupted by my phone ringing. I contemplate not answering it, but see on the caller ID it's Rose. I pick up the phone but not really being able to talk with the pacifier I just let out a grunt. After Rose stops laughing she asks if I found the keys yet. I again grunt and she laughs and says I take that's a no. And laughs, she then says I'll give you a clue, you scream I scream we all scream for? She laughs and hangs up. I try to think what she means by the clue and think of the saying and remember you scream I scream we all scream for ice cream. Then I go to the freezer and open it finding a large ice cream bucket. I open it and look inside only to see that it's been filled with water and is frozen solid with the keys in the center of the frozen mass. I dump the block of ice out and start to figure how to get the keys out. At first I try hitting it with a hammer, but at this point it's not really working. Next I try running it under hot water, but the sound of the water causes something else to happen. I now have to pee. I try to hold it, but the ice isn't melting fast enough and I really have to go. I catch myself jumping up and down bending over and anything else to stop it, but the urge is just too strong and I let it go. I feel myself going, I feel the warmth of the pee as it is absorbed by the diaper which is now becoming heavier and bulging. I turn my attention back to the block of ice. I pull the lace gloves off my hand only to see my fingernails are painted a bright pink and somehow longer and rounded, it just keeps getting worse. Then there's a knock at the door. I try to ignore it but it gets louder and louder. I finally go to the door, look though the peep hole and standing there is my neighbor Amy, she say I know you're in there, now let me in. I reluctantly open the door to see Amy standing there and she is holding a small bottle, she says to me some girl handed this to me and says you'll need this. I reach for the bottle only to have Amy grab my hand and look at my nails she then laughed and said, boy you went all the way didn't you? Amy then tells me the girls told her this would help release the pacifier. I take the bottle read the label that says, will reverse super glue. I pull the pacifier a little bit and pour a small amount of the stuff on the pacifier and wait. I then feel the pacifier come loose and pull it out of my mouth. Amy who is standing there says, well? 
I just look at her and she says you better explain yourself. I just tell her I have no idea, but she tells me well the girls in the car said that you are a pervert and do this all the time. But I don't believe them or should I? I tell her no and say that this was something done to me by one or both of the girls. After a long silence and longer stare from Amy. She says I'm waiting. I figure I better tell her or at least try to. I explained to Amy what happened with Rose and how I think I ended up dressed like I am. Amy laughs and just sits down and asks for a cup of tea. After putting the kettle on I grabbed a knife and go to start cutting the dress but Amy stops me and tells me to just wait until the ice melts and she'll help me get undressed. And tells me to sit down next to her. She laughs as she watches me down in a very undignified way in the dress and petticoats, then says I'll have to teach you how to sit dressed like that and laughs again. We have our tea and talk. After about two hours the ice has finally melted enough to get the keys out. Amy takes the key ring and says I'll help you and then laughs and say maybe I should just keep you this way? I look at her in a panic but she says only kidding and walks around me and unlocks the lock at my neck and pulls the zipper of the dress down, she then unlocks the lock in the waist followed by the ones in the wrists of the dress and finally I get out of the dress pulling it down then over the petticoat. Amy then unbuttons the top part of the petticoats, I look at her standing there waiting for her to leave but she doesn't, she just says go on take it off. I pull the shoulder straps off and step out of the petticoat and am left standing there in the tights, plastic panties, diaper, and the shoes. Amy tells me to sit my little diaper but down and after I sit down she unlocks the locks on the ankle straps and takes the shoes off my feet. I again stand up and pull the tights leaving me in just the plastic panties and diaper. Amy then reaches out to unlock the panties but then suddenly reaches down and feels the crotch of the panties and says, looks like someone wet themselves, and laughs. I feel my face blush. Amy unlocks the panties and pulls them down to my ankles. She then starts unpinning the diaper. I try and stop her but she just slaps my hands away and unpins the diaper and it drops to the floor leaving me standing there naked. That's when I notice that every hair on my body has been shaved off from my toes to my neck. Amy only laughs and tells me to go shower and get dressed. I gladly hop into the shower and wash myself from head to toe hoping I get all the damn makeup off, then I get out of the shower dry off and walk to my room to put some clothes on only to find my underwear drawer filled with plastic panties and diapers, my sock drawer filled with tights, and when I open my closet I find only skirts and dresses, no pants. Wearing only a towel I walk out back into the kitchen and tell Amy I have a problem, when she asks what I tell her that I don't have any pants or underwear just skirts dresses, diapers and plastic pants. After Amy finally stops laughing she says I guess you'll just have to keep wearing diapers and dresses then. I'm stunned, I ask Amy could you please go get me some pants? She says she'll think about it but until then if I want her to get me some clothes I better put what she tells me to. She then returns to my room with me and picks out a diaper, plastic pants, white tights and pale blue dress, she then pulls the towel off of me and pushes me onto the diaper on the bed and starts to diaper me pinning the diaper on, then pulling some pale blue plastic panties over the diaper followed by the tights. I try to protest but I just can't, I'm too tired and humiliated. She then has me sit up and she pulls the dress over my head and buttons up the back, pulls me to my feet looks me in the eyes and says, now here's the rules. 